What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. And while we call it WWE Action Figure Surgery, sometimes we feature AEW action figures. So you guys can see we do have a couple AEW action figures featured today. Should be pretty exciting. If you guys saw our roster videos from the other day where we broke down the MDT and Vindication rosters, talking about the pick fed, talking about updating action figures and making them the best versions of themselves or the most poseable, best feeling in the hand for me to actually film matches with. We talked about upgrading some of those figures, so today we're going to upgrade a couple of the figures. I don't have the parts necessary, and I'm actually I'm, I'm actually beating the hell out of myself because Ringside Collectibles just got done with the most ridiculous, elite, and crazy sale of figures that had plenty of parts that I could have ordered. I could have ordered probably all the parts I needed for every member of the roster for probably a hundred bucks or less, and I completely missed the mark. I used that sale to fill holes in the collection and things that I had been missing in my AEW figures and, you know, certain things like that, and I, it just completely skipped my mind on, oh, dude, you could go buy double-jointed arms and buy these this thing for the kick pads for this and all this, and I just, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. So next year, it's on like Donkey Kong. However, man, we're back here today with action figure surgery. I want to say it's episode 80, maybe it's 86 or so. I don't, I don't freaking remember off the top of my dome, but here we are today, back at it, very excited for today. Got some pretty cool stuff, and we're going to take some risks today that I'm kind of scared about but I think, we, you know, it'll all be worth it in the end. Anyway, let's get into what we're gonna do first, man. Starting out first, we do have Elite 99 Seth right here. And for this Seth Rollins, man, we're not gonna do much, but we are going to switch the head sculpt with this guy over here in the wheelchair. We're gonna take this specific Seth Rollins figure, and this is a fix-up I made a while back, but we're gonna take the Man Bun Smirk head sculpt from that Championship Showdown pack with Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. We're gonna pop this head sculpt over here, and that'll be a lot better. I am going to definitely get multiples of this figure, but for now, I, like, I just can't, I can't have this figure with this head sculpt on it. it. It doesn't sit right with me. It keeps me awake at night, to be honest, so we'll be switching that out. Next up, we do have Trash Corbin here. You guys can see here. Shout out to my man, Fig Skiv, for the Trash Corbin figure. You know, we've we've done some different things with this ver with this figure. You know, we threw away the first one on accident after the setup, and then we did, you know, he sent us a brand new one free of charge, so huge shout out to Fig Skiv for that, but today you're probably thinking, oh, you're gonna put the, you know, the smiling face on here? Absolutely not. We're going to be taking the bum Corbin, and we're going to be putting the down on his luck Corbin head sculpt over on the trash Corbin, because I think it'll fit very nicely. And then after that, we're going to put the happy Corbin head sculpt onto the Elite 99 and remove this shirt and use this shirt at a later date, and we'll just have the happy Corbin. Then I'll probably track down a second one to make it down on his luck with the shirt and whatnot at a later date, but we are going to fix up that trash Corbin there, because I want my I want trash Corbin to be the saddest that he can be, you know what I mean? I don't need him smiling around here, you know what I mean? So, also, just a little PSA. Next Monday, Monday Night Raw is coming to Birmingham, Alabama. If any of you guys that are watching this will be there, look out for me. I'd love to meet you guys, take a picture, you know, chat a little bit, whatever the case is, man. I would greatly appreciate that, and I look forward to meeting some of you guys there. So, if you're going to Monday Night Raw in Birmingham, be sure to be on the lookout. I'll be sitting row three across from the hard cam, so it should be a pretty fun show. I'm looking forward to that, but just a PSA. Moving on to the next one, man. We have this Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I have a few different ideas is here and it, it's not going to turn out exactly like I want because I wanted to put solid blue kick pads on this guy instead of the white. I am going to track down another Elite 96 Shinsuke because I do want an all white version but I think what I want to do is I want to take the shirt and head sculpt what, I, you know what I may not switch the head sculpts I want to put this shirt over here and then I want to put these AJ Styles feet on there with the black blue and white and just see what they look like now these are double jointed arms and I would honestly love to put the double jointed white arms right here with this like long wrist tape. There's probably somebody on the roster that I could give that to. I mean you have a few different guys you could probably give it to like Matt Hardy would be a good one because it's got like the longer wrist tape on there and then you just put the white hand tape in there and it would fix it. Uh, I don't know man but this figure is not that expensive. I feel like I probably could easily track down another one and it may be on Amazon. I mean there, there's multiple ways you could look that up. I'm going to check right now because if that's the case I might just go ahead and do that. Alright so it's not cheaper on Amazon on just yet. So what I'm going to do is just switch these feet over and the shirt and we'll we'll play around with the other stuff. I really love the Survivor Series Elite. Isn't that what this is? I love this. This is probably one of my favorite Shinsuke's and he had blue wrist tape but we put that on his Elite 81 figure or the Elite 81. Yeah, it was the Elite 81. But anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to put, be putting these feet over here and then we're going to switch the shirts and do some cool stuff with Shinsuke and we look forward to doing more things. Like, I have some double jointed arms I could put on these but we're going to have multiple rounds and episodes of this because I got to get more parts 
works in here, but I figured this could cut it for today. Next up, we have the Elite Champion Kenny Omega. Uh, so for Kenny Omega, I am just going to be switching the head sculpts. I'm just going to put this head sculpt over here because I want the Supreme, and I don't know if he'll wear this gear. I don't know what gear he's going to wear. I definitely want the double-jointed pinless with butterfly joints with the pissed-off head sculpt over here, and that's what we're going to be doing with Kenny. And then for our last few here, let's go ahead and get this over here. For Roman Reigns, all we're going to be doing is putting the red gauntlets from his Ultimate Edition. I got two Ultimate Editions here, or gauntlets, I should say. So this will go in this and we're going to put this on his right arm and then we're going to put the leftover gauntlet over here so he'll have dual red gauntlets to match the rest of the bloodline gear i'm also working on getting matching black jogger usos with custom painted shoes to put with this guy on mdt live and also have another promo roman that i'm working on for the show specifically so this is like his wrestling get up but i want to have a version of his like you know just backstage man bun chilling around the arena look so that's our MDT champ. Both champions featured today. Maybe the first time ever. Maybe not. Next up, we have Braun Strowman here. You're probably wondering, why don't you just do an arm swap right here? It wouldn't work. And on, honestly, this would just, you know, I, I, I'm an idiot, first of all, because I forgot Braun Strowman and Kane in the roster update. I forgot to get them off the shelf for whatever reason and started recording without realizing it. But we're going to be putting this head sculpt over on this figure. And I don't know how I'm going to get him off or how I'm going to get this head sculpt off because it's not just interchangeable i do have to heat it up and then this one elite 87 they didn't have interchangeable head sculpts so i'm gonna have to heat up both of those big arms like this double jointed big arms like this don't just go on those older elites also i want this pants design and also i like these boots with the straps on here we did that a while back and i think it looks really clean and i can always find a custom shirt or something for him to wear so we are going to switch these head sculpts i think that'll be a fun fix up to do and the you know the monster of destruction right there with kane will be looking pretty good and last but not least we have these two figures and all we're we're going to be doing is putting new knee pads on jungle boy here with the open knee pads like you guys see here because th these do not articulate whatsoever and he does have a match on mdt live coming up that'll be his debut and then we have the ruthless aggression elite rvd and we're going to be putting open knee pads on this guy because we have open knee pads on all our rvds and uh, if i'm going to be using him on the show i want to be able to pose him around and even if i don't use him on the show in this gear i'll use the tiger stripes gear but i want him to have the open knee pads because it allows for him to move around. So that is all we got, man. We got lots of stuff to get through. It should be very fun. We got the white trusty hair dryer here today. We got some stuff that doesn't require heat. It should be fun. We're going to get all this stuff knocked out, and I will see you guys in the operating room, which is just right here. I'm literally just going to cut to the next segment, and it's going to be in the same exact spot, and we're just going to go through all the different fix-ups. It's, it's not a different room. I don't know why I said that. All right, guys, getting into it first, let's go ahead and just start off with the things that do not require heat, and that is going to be the Elite Champion right here, right? We don't need to, you know, put any heat on One of the, I think it's honestly one of the best things about the Jazzwares figure. So if we just pop off the Supreme Head there, and you guys know that he does have, like, that grinning version or that pissed-off version. I mean, this is kind of that version, but I'm talking about the teeth-gritting version. You know, that version's really good, too, but you could use that in the match, you know what I'm saying? You could use that during an entrance. This this right here is money. The white tape, the elite championship, the gear, the head sculpt. That looks pretty damn good. We'll look at that at the end there, of course, but I'm, I'm digging the way he looks here. Will you stand up before we have a problem, son? All right, then if we come over here and then we just pop the Supreme on this figure, then uh, there's that. So now you have like a Kenny Omega Bullet Club Hybrid Unmatched Series 1. And then we come over here to the MDT champion. It should be relatively easy. We're going to get the championship out of here. Don't want to have any issues there. Put that over there. There, and then all it is is simple just removing the hands and popping this off just glorious man i mean i do love the trusty white hair dryer and he is on the payroll but i would much rather just have you know no heat i'd rather not have to have any heat and just be able to pop and play I think you know different some things get loose when you don't have you know to use heat like interchangeable hands get loose interchangeable heads i guess it doesn't really matter that much but you know, popping on these red gauntlets i think this is going to make for a really sweet roman reigns very much looking forward to it Got that in there, and then pushing down the gauntlet, and look at that. Yeah, he's looking like a freaking madman. Look at that menace to society. Look at him. Yeah, that looks beautiful. I'm excited about that one. We'll look at him at the end, of course, and we'll slide the gauntlet over here. Maybe that could go on a different Roman Reigns at a different date. Outside of that, we do have the Shinsuke Nakamura's now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the, uh, the bicep band off right here. Go ahead and remove this shirt. Now, the more that I'm sitting here thinking about it, the more that I kind of low-key 
would like to like switch some different stuff around like what if i put the white kick pad feet over here and then put the white arms on here then you're dealing with a whole nother hybrid figure right there but I'm not gonna do it at this juncture i am gonna remove these shirts just in case now he does have a gold belt which kind of bothers me to be honest with you because it doesn't really match the blue vibe he does have that white bicep band on there though said sculpt is removable because it's a modern figure so here's this we put the shirt on here like i want to i mean i guess this could go on here but it doesn't have to you know like you could just easily cover that and then you pop those kick pads on there i don't know let's let's leave this off let's put on this shirt because i kind of want to see what that looks like again we're just playing around with stuff here he looks like he would be on a mid 2000s smackdown with this attire on i guess technically he does here too but like, see that looks clean that's about what i was expecting but see blue shoes would really bring the thing together but the blue and white is super clean i mean how are you gonna beat that i don't want to put the white jacket on here all right i don't i'm gonna put this blue armband back on here though yeah that looks clean i like that all right that goes there now i mean this guy's done i don't even need this shinsuke but crown and shirt can go over here as well now we need to heat up these feet and put these aj styles feet on there that's what i want to do so i guess what i'm do gonna do is point this down i'm gonna heat up these feet but i'm definitely not gonna just heat up these feet and leave that at the end there i think that we have too much potential here so what i'm gonna do go ahead and remove the trash corbin head sculpt go ahead and remove this shirt put this over there with the other long sleeve so we got two cloth long sleeve figures from mattel in the same video but there's that we can go ahead and pop the smiling corbin head sculpt on here so there's that he's pretty much done you know nothing groundbreaking there even though the head sculpt's too big we've mentioned that but from here i guess i'm gonna go ahead and throw jungle boy over here so we got a bunch of legs getting heated up right here go ahead and put jungle boy over here in the heat i'm gonna do it like this go ahead and put that in there bummy head sculpt can come over here because we do want to heat up trash corbin's head so that can go there rvd his kick pads also need to be heated up but i don't want to you know mess anything up here so i'm going to slide that up a little bit put these arms up and i guess ah oh, jesus man this is probably too much for me you just got to get it all in the beam of heat man i mean that's what it really comes down to should i attempt this seth rollins head sculpt because the elite 99 is removable i don't have to worry about the heat here but if i pull this seth rollins head or i pull this jacket off don't heat up your rubber accessories man It'll, it'll warp them. You could potentially set your face on fire. There's no sense in all that. So I'm going to put them right here in the front because it really needs to get heated up. I hope to goodness that we can get all this in one go. I don't need the other Seth Rollins. I'm not doing the brawn. Or should I do the brawn? I don't think I could fit the bronze over here, man. Oh, you're talking about taking brawn and like folding his head over right here? Like, I don't know, man. That just seems a bit too much for me. And then you're talking about dealing with a masked head sculpt right here. And I'm... I feel like we're going to we're going to break this hair off of here and if we break this hair off of here i'm gonna have to i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do you know what i mean so oh my gracious and i gotta heat i'm not doing it i'm heating this up by itself i'll do brawn by himself after the fact but I am going to try to get that Elite 87 head sculpt off there. So let's go ahead and hit the trusty hair, white hair dryer, see if we can get all of this stuff heated up properly. All right, Brad, I'm probably going to be rusty. You guys know. Ooh, did this get sufficient heat? Yes, it did. I'm going to go ahead and pop this Elite 99 head sculpt off because we don't have a ton of time here. So I do want to go ahead and pop this on here. And it's going to be on here, man, because this battle pack, if you know anything about modern WWE basics and battle packs, I think now they've tried to make it where they're interchangeable. But with this set right here, that's a really tiny neck hole. We'll look at him at the end, of course. But moving on to the next thing, I guess I can just plop this on here because it doesn't really matter that much. But we're losing precious, precious football time. Going on to Braun. On Strowman here. Can we get this off? God in heaven, it feels like it's coming off. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Look at that right there. But this is not the head sculpt I was worried about, bro. I really don't know if that mass head sculpt is going to be able to make it. We will find out together. But we did get that head sculpt off. That is pretty huge. Next up, we have the kick pads here. These are terrible to get off. But the RVD. That was the easiest kick pads to ever come off in the history of MDT WWE action figure surgery. Not even close, I don't think. Honestly, that was pretty impeccable. All right, the first knee pad we have is going to be a left one. We're going to flip that over here, slide this on. You do have to finagle it, but this is going to definitely be worth it. I'm going to go ahead and plop this kick pad back on here, if possible. Okay, got that. And then we need the right knee pad. All right, we got it. This is going on here. And then... 
then the good thing is if I ruin the jungle boy, I have like three men on card that I could easily just open up, I guess. I don't want it to happen, but you know, it's for rainy days, but we got RVD switched over. We'll look at him in just a moment. Oh my God, what an idiot. I put the knee pad on the, I put it on upside down. I got to flip it over real quick. Luckily, the kick pad was still heated up pretty good and I switched it already. So that, there we go. Then if we come over here, plopping off the, I think that's the Trash Corbin Basic, maybe. So we have our Trash Corbin. We're going to plop on the Down on His Luck head sculpt, which is just classic. Yeah, that that's much better. Now he's double trash. Moving on, we have Jungle Boy here. That was not as easy as I thought it would be. I thought it would literally fall off, but these, while these hexagon, like, McDavid-style knee pads are accurate to Jungle Boy, they're not very effective for articulation, and I'll fight anybody on that premise. Sliding on these bigger, not bigger, sliding on these knee pads. Oh my god, is that even gonna go back in there? Jesus Christ. All right, we did get it. Jesus. Knee pads are actually falling off the damn thing. All right, got that. Hopefully, once he cools off, he'll be a lot better there. But those knee pads, Jesus, dude. I'll have to show you guys what they're doing. I may have to get... Oh, God, that is not good. We'll explain it. We will get into it. Lord in heaven. It's disappointing as hell. Anyways, getting into AJ Styles. Should be able to plop these feet off over here. And then, yeah, I want to keep those on the right perspective things. And then popping off the white ones. Now, this used to be a huge challenge for me. Like, I used to not be able to get these on worth a damn but i think i have gotten it gotten much better at it. especially these ones with like the wide af pants cuffs i think the key is like you just have to get you have to heat them up like hell all right there's the first one and then coming over here and getting the second one peg looks like it was made out of a dinosaur or something i don't know why it looks so scaly or something i don't know what the hell i'm saying but we'll take a look at that in just a moment all right man so we got all of that stuff done now the only thing that remains is going to be the monster braun Strowman in the mask and i i still don't know how the hell i'm gonna pull this off because this hair is custom sculpted on here and it is flexible but i think once it heats up bro it's gonna be gone as hell i really don't know how i'm gonna get this off and I'm scared as hell. All right, bro, let's, uh, God in heaven, I am so afraid right now. Oh my Lord, it just pulled right off. All right, I'm gonna pop this onto the other Strowman and then I'm gonna let this sit there for the rest of time. Or did he make this like, Nah, bro. It's not, like, interchangeable, but it just pops right on. That's what you know, Brad. Anyways, that is everything we needed to do, man. Let's take a look at all this stuff lined up and uh, get out of here. All right, guys, so here's everything that we did today on surgery. Let's start off first with Bummy up front, man. I think he turned out pretty great. It looks pretty much like I wanted it to. I wanted him to be in the trash. I wanted him to, to feel like trash, look like trash. And, I mean, look at that face right there. I mean, it tells you everything you need to know. It looks great. I'm very proud of that. I, I love this figure. It's so sentimental to the collection. I can't believe I threw away the first one. Makes me sick. Next up, we have the Shinsuke Nakamura figure, and I think it turned out all right. You know, not like just completely earth-shattering. I think it would be a lot better if the shoes were completely... Dude, like, why is that so loose? What What is that? Why is that... Look at that. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. It still stands and stuff. It's definitely just worth noting, but if it had completely blue kick pads and feet, I don't know why that's doing that, bro. That's absolutely ridiculous. But it doesn't look bad. You know, it's kind of a different take on that. I, I don't mind the Shinsuke. He's looking all right, but I, I think solid blue would look a lot better, but maybe we can do that at a later date. Next up is going to be Jungle Boy and RBD with their new knee pads. The RBD kind of knew what to expect. We've seen it before. It's nothing, again, earth shattering. It's just open knee pad. Uh, it'll allow for better articulation and it looks better, to be honest with you. I, I think it looks a whole lot better to me, so RBD is looking good. And then for Jungle Boy, you guys have probably already come to the conclusion that these knee pads are way too big. I mean, they're literally just falling right off here and uh, uh, they're supposed to be right there. I think they would have looked fine if they would hug right there, but they don't. So what my next thing is going to be is getting an extra AEW, I guess what, Punk? The CM Punk Walmart exclusive. I think those have like the correct knee pads. It's basically the same knee pads that come on this Kenny Omega, except they're solid black. I think that's the only ones that will fit this, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that'll be the next test, I guess, but these definitely won't work unless he's going to pull some Ric Flair style stuff, which I guess I could, but yeah, I'm just not, you know, I'm not going to do that. 
that. I guess I'll roll with some CM Punk Walmart exclusive knee pads later on. Next up, we have Happy Corbin. We already knew what it looked like. I mean, this is the, the standard trash Happy Corbin. I just need to find the fedora. Next up, we do have Shinsuke and Seth. These are not really fix-ups, to be honest with you. Shinsuke, all we did was take his shirt off. And then for this, we just put the head sculpt on the Elite Seth back there. And I don't really care for these. These don't really matter that much. Same thing goes for Braun. I mean, this isn't really a fix-up. This is more of just, you know, putting the head sculpt on the leftover body. But, you know, it's kind of mixing the old Strowman with the new Strowman. So I guess that's kind of cool. And then we have probably the main eventers. Oh, yeah, we also have this Kenny here. Unmatched one Kenny with the Supreme head sculpt on there. If you guys were wondering what that looked like, here's kind of what that looks like. So, yeah, there's that one. We have the Supreme Kenny with this Unmatched Series 1 head sculpt on there with the Elite Championship. Very clean. I think it worked out perfectly. Chef's Kiss. Cannot wait to see him on MDT television. I love the way he looks. Roman Reigns, same thing. I think the red gauntlets was the move. It kind of disappoints me that I don't have another Roman. I have the top picks Roman, and I have like a men on card ultimate. I want to say I have another ultimate somewhere with a red gauntlet. It may be in a drawer somewhere or something. I bet it is because I have a ton of Roman figures, elites, you know, fodder. But this is badass. I think he looks awesome, and he'll definitely be wrestling Dean Ambrose in the main event of MDT Live on the next episode. If Dean Ambrose wins... Wins, he will be added to the, the Seth Rollins-Roman Reigns match at My Damn Nation for the MDT Championship. If he loses, he is banned from My Damn Nation. Can't even, come up, can't even arrive at the arena, show up to the show, all that stuff. So, Roman Reigns looking good. The double red looks fire. Next up, we do have Seth Rollins Elite 99 with the Championship Showdown head sculpt. I want to say I did this head swap in the review just to show you guys what it would look like, how much better it looks. And it just does, man. I can't believe they didn't use this head sculpt again. We've only seen it one time, and it's in that Championship showdown pack which makes that that pack heavily wanted it's very desirable and i wish they'd do that for more battle packs if you put those unique head sculpts in there that you can't get it makes people want to buy those battle packs and helps with sales but this figure looks immaculate with that head sculpt on it may have been figure of the year if it had like a head sculpt like that on it but finishing up we have monster Strowman with double jointed arms and the updated boots i'm not done with it i i think i'm going to give him some so i don't know if i'll leave him shirtless that's that remains to be seen i thought about giving him a custom him shirt probably paint him up just a little bit mix some stuff together i wish his pants were like solid black with some like white and red rippings or something but i think if we get that attitude era ultimate cane in there i mean this is the hardcore cane with an ultimate edition head sculpt pa repainted and this looks badass you can't put double jointed arms on this guy I pretty much attempted it however these two still look monstrous up next to each other i mean they are the monsters of destruction look at them who, who who's gonna beat this team you know what i'm saying who is gonna beat this team and right now they have their eyes set on the on the MDT Tag Team Championships. A lot of people do over there on Vindication, so you guys will have to stay tuned to see what we do for that match, but I don't know how you're going to beat these monsters, but there's them. You got Seth in here. You got all the different guys in here. I want to know down in the comment section below which fix-up or custom or whatever the hell you want to say was your favorite from today. If I had to pick, it's probably Strowman or Roman, but then again, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, I, I kind of knew what it was going to look like anyway, so that's why, you know, it's not the, the most over-the-top greatest thing ever. But at the same time, I'm still excited for it, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave me your thoughts down below. Get this video to 500 likes. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. We'll never